How much did you know growing up? Well, um, not an awful lot, to be frank. Um, I grew up in a ministry house. Um, they've done them up and sold them off by now, but I, was gr- I grew up in a, in a, a road called Cockshot Road. Um, and it had all these ministry houses, which were sort of like posh council houses. They had enormous gardens, but everybody who lived next door to you either side, over the road, everybody was a a radar scientist. Um, And so you all knew each other. And you know, in those days, when you had a telephone in your house, it was on a party line. So you could, could, if you want to, listen to what next door was saying on their phone. Um, But we, we, it was a wonderful place for children to grow up in because you knew every, all the families knew each other. Um, and, And everybody knew that you just didn't ask your mum or dad what they did in the war because you would be very firmly shut up. So my father never said a thing about his work, uh, nor my mum in her work supporting him. And next door were two very, very um, eminent scientists, man and wife. I think they they did a lot. I'm waiting to hear their full story. But again, you never ever asked them what they did. You just knew that you grew up in a place which apparently during the war had the highest concentration, the highest density of PhDs in Britain. And you've pointed out the parallel yourself, I know, but it's extraordinary how much we all know about, for example, Bletchley Park. And this is an, an entirely, you know, comparable enterprise. Well, yes, and, and many um, you know, very eminent historians have said that um, Malvern and its radar scientists played every bit as, mu- as dramatic a part in winning the war as did Bletchley Park. But for some reason, I don't know, uh, the, when they signed the Official Secrets Act, all these young men and women, they stuck to their guns and never let the story out. And I know you're, you're keen to, to find more children of, of, of these radar scientists. And, and that's why we're talking, because there's every chance there will be somebody listening in Derbyshire or East Staffordshire who thinks, oh, yeah, I grew up in Malvern. I oh, may yeah. not even know the full implications, but realise that's exactly what my parents were involved in. Well, that's it. And it's, I mean, I just wish I'd started this project a good 10 years ago. I mean, it would have been nicer to have started it when my father was alive. And I might have actually cajoled him to sit down in front of a camera and say, you can tell those stories now, Dad. But, yeah. um, you know, I, I, I just think that if I don't write it now, a whole generation of what I call kids of the radar years, um, they will have lost their parents' stories. And so even if I've only got one or two anecdotes that my father let slip occasionally, I'm, I want to be able to meet other kids of my generation whose parents may have let slip one or two stories too. And, um, and then I can put together a social history of what it was like to grow up in this extraordinary place. <laughs> 